Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for Tuesday, September 27th, 2016. I'm Athen and this is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below because the signs are different. All right, so we are approaching a new moon later in the week on Friday. So we are in the balsamic phase this uh, middle part of the week, uh, which is a lowering of energy time. I think uh, as we approach Friday, it's a good time to allow the energies in our life to die down. In other words, to maybe get some space, uh, to meditate, to reflect on things a bit. And a lot of it is about the uh, releasing of the last lunar cycle. You know, that's what the balsamic phase is about. It's about letting go of and releasing the things of um, the last cycle that we don't want to bring into the next new beginnings. So this was very transformational because it was, of course, the eclipse cycle involving that north node in Leo. So uh, this whole life path for us collectively has been about learning more about our self-expression, learning more about what we enjoy in life and what is close to our hearts and cultivating them and expressing those things, whatever the medium might be. So it's an excellent day for that with the moon in Leo, a bit of that playfulness, lightheartedness, Again, it could be a bit more meditative or easygoing, which is the balsamic phase. But uh, yeah, giving some space, reflecting on those matters, and maybe moving some things forward with Mercury, who's recently gone direct uh, in Leo, right? Moving some things forward with that. And again, just learning more about our self-expression. So uh, within that, uh, we do have, of course, the sun still very close to Jupiter here today. So there is... Uh, this ability to see the possibilities in our life and our potentials. Uh, this new moon is going to be conjoining up to Jupiter later in the week. So uh, some new seeds will be planted with these potentials. And so, yeah, allowing that those insights to come in, expanding our horizons, really opening our worldview uh, can be excellent here today and can allow us to see things we may have not normally seen. Um, and this is also confirmed by Pluto, who's recently gone direct yesterday. Uh, in Sagittarius, helping us change our belief systems. You know, it's an excellent week for change with Pluto direct now. And uh, in Sagittarius, how we see things and knowing the importance of belief system and, and how our own beliefs can limit us. And at the same time, they can also expand us. And we can't see what we're not open to, right? So opening those horizons, Mars going into Sagittarius can give us increasingly, as he gets into that constellation, more and more motivation and drive to get adventurous to see those possibilities, potentials, open those horizons, uh, tap into that inspiration of life. And uh, there has been a lot of transformations with our energy and motivations with Mars going over that galactic center. So that's going to take time, but things are certainly slowly moving forward uh, when it comes to these potentials, the drives, motivations, and possibilities. Again, in this balsamic phase, though, it is supposed to be a time of allowing the energies to die down. Right, so it is good to give some space in our life, to break the routine if we can, uh, and just all in all to reflect on maybe what we've learned or what we've experienced this very transformational month in September. All right, so uh, those are the major things going on is that Pluto still going direct, the sun's still very close to Jupiter, and uh, we do have a couple aspects with the moon here today. The moon will be trending up to Uranus, so the first half can be good for a bit of mixing things up, trying something new and different and uh, being our true selves. You know, Uranus is about the true self and individuality and doing things that are different, unorthodox, which is who we truly are anyways. You know, when compared, so to speak, to the collective or to the status quo, we're all very unique and very different. And I think it's an excellent day to honor that. And uh, if it does come to the routine, mixing it up, trying new things can be exciting. Uranus in Pisces can mean that, again, uh, it's through acceptance, through letting go, through living in the present moment, uh, can also be very liberating here today. Now, as we go into the second half, the moon will be trending up to Mars. So there could be perhaps a bit of motivation or confidence uh, the second half. And so anything that does require independence, uh, fulfilling our personal needs, you know, our goals or ambitions, maybe some physical exercise and energy uh, can be supportive, at least collectively speaking, uh, going into the evening time. And again, a lot of that might be to expand those horizons and to see uh, things that we may not have seen before with that Sagittarius energy. All right, so uh, so that's the day in a nutshell as we approach the new moon, allowing energies to die down, reflect on things. There are potentials and possibilities which will be unfolding going into next week, 
But uh, this week, certainly things shifting and uh, some new insights can continue to come in. All right, so have an excellent day, everyone. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.